This is the grade three TN ready math test. This is question number 16 for this one. Eddie played basketball with his team last night. He made four shots that were worth two points each, and he made one shot that was worth three points. So as we go down, like this is broken into two parts, and part A says which equation could be used to find N, the number of total points he scored from his two point and three point shots. I'm going to go backwards here because B says, what is the total number of points Eddie scored from his two-point and three-point shots? I'd rather answer that question first because it makes my other section easier to get. So there are a few ways I can handle 16. The first thing we want to do is talk about what the relationships between the numbers are, and then we want to talk about how we can apply those things. If I just look at the fact that he made four shots that were worth two each, what I might do... Each one of these blocks refers to a shot. So he made one, two, three, four shots, and then he made another shot down here. This one is worth two, 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 and three, because he made one three-pointer there, apparently. Now, I can add all those up by hand. This is a calculator allowed section, as you can see here. So you could use a calculator for this one as well. But 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 9, 10, 11. So it feels like the total number of points that he scored from his shots would be 11. I'm going to scroll this up just a little more. That way I can get both Part A and Part B on the same page. 11. That's how many points he scored. Not a fantastic night for him, but not bad either. Now, let's think about what operations we're trying to do. This three is all alone. We're just kind of putting that in there with the rest. That feels a lot like an addition. I'm just going to add three to get to that number. And that's exactly what I did. I worked with these separately. And then I just added the three in there at the end. So I'm going to say at some point we're going to have plus three. So anything that doesn't end in plus three, I'm probably going to eliminate. Because I'm definitely not multiplying by three because he didn't do something three times. He just added three on to the end. So this is out, and this is out. So all I have left would be these. Now, my options here are four plus two or four times two. Where the two comes from the fact that there's four shots, and each shot is worth two points each. Now, because I went ahead and made this picture here uh, and then worked from there, I can see that four plus two won't get me where I want to go because four plus two is six, right? Two, four, six, eight, so that's not it. Instead, we want four times two, because four times two is eight, and this whole group is worth eight. But let's just think of that from a more, like a concept idea, like the generalities of what multiplying really is. Multiplying is just a lot of adding. That's the reason that multiplying exists. It's so you don't have to do large number additions of the same number over and over. If this was, if he had made 64 shots with two each, it would be a long road for us to make, you know, 60 numbered of shots or whatever I said, um, or 61 or whatever it was. I make 61 boxes or add two 61 times, that would be crazy, right? So instead, we use multiply for those sorts of situations because 61 times two looks a lot better than anything else. But we're not worried about 61. We're worried about a much smaller amount. We just need to know he, that he has four shots, and each time he did it, it was two. So instead of saying plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, we just say four times two. It also makes it easier to adjust. What if he had made all of these as three-point shots? Well, we just change this to a three, do the multiplication, and we would be done. So my answer to part A is R. And again, if you're working on a separate form for this and you're not working directly with the um, answer sheet and you have to bring carry it over, you might do yourself a favor to write that letter just because it'll make it easier to match up as you try to bring your answers over to the answer form. But that's it. If you have a lot of adding, you're probably going to be multiplying. If you draw a little picture of the event, it sometimes makes it I wouldn't even say sometimes. A lot of times it makes it much easier to see what you're trying to do so you can visualize it. That way it's not a magic trick that you're just trying to hide it and at the end it happens. Like at the end you get 11. 
I can see the parts that lead to 11, and that makes it easier for me to see.